Sairam children, welcome back to the session, part 2, lesson number 12, our water wealth. So children, today we are going to continue with the lesson. So before moving ahead, let's quickly recall what we had learned in the previous class. So children, in the previous class, we have learned uses of water. So water is used for drinking, cooking, washing clothes and for many other purposes. Okay, next is sources of water. Yes, water is present in rivers, lakes, ponds and also water is present under the earth surface as ground water. We also started with shortage of water. Okay, now we will continue. So children, in spite of being surrounded by water, we still face shortages in many of our towns and villages. This is because the water in seas and oceans is salty. It is unfit for drinking and it cannot be used by farmers for watering their crops. Okay. Rain. So children, you all like rainy season, isn't it? You like to play and you also sail paper boats, isn't it? So rain is our main source of water. That is our main source of fresh water is rain. However, in India, it rains only for 2 or 3 months. So, it rains in India only for 2 or 3 months. In some places, it doesn't rain. And in several places, it hardly rains. Okay. So, what happens during these monsoon months, rivers are full of water. Rivers are full of water. And these often lead to floods during these months. Okay. This often leads to during these months. See, when there is heavy rainfall for more, for more days, it often leads to floods isn't it and do you know children most of this water simply flows into the sea and during the hot summer the rivers many of our rivers dry up okay is that clear children next topic is providing Water. Children, water resources are unevenly distributed on the surface of the earth. That is, it is not evenly distributed, it is unevenly distributed. Humans assess this water in different ways. Okay, we will see. People. People who live near rivers take water from the rivers. Some people, they have to walk for miles to get a pot of drinking water. Okay, just look at the picture. Children carrying water in pots. So they have to 
walk for a mile to get a pot of drinking water some they draw it from wells see you can see the picture see see the picture women drawing water from a well okay and some pump out the water from the well so children so you have to use water very carefully you should not waste it okay so you will turn the taps off when you have finished using is it clear you have to turn the taps off okay is it clear children reverse children in places where there are rivers the river water is cleaned and supplied as drinking water that is the water is treated before it reaches the tap okay it is also used for irrigation so children before drinking you can either boil the water or you can use a water filter okay which is good for your health is that clear children our next topic is wells and tube wells so in places where there is sufficient ground water wells are dug okay so wells are dug where there is sufficient ground water tube wells tube wells are wells in which pumps are installed okay so pumps are installed to draw water from the well is it clear so children with this i'll stop the remaining part of this lesson we will continue in the next class so let's summarize what we have learned today today we have learned shortage of water so in spite of being surrounded by water we have a shortage of water why this is because the water in oceans and seas is salty and rain our main source of water is rain it rains only for 2 or 3 months in india okay next is providing water water resources are unevenly distributed on the surface of the earth the people who live near rivers they take water from the rivers and some people they have to walk for a mile to get a pot of drinking water river water river water is cleaned and supplied as drinking water wells and tube wells wells are dug where there is sufficient ground water and tube wells are wells in which pumps are installed to draw water okay so now we'll do some objectives multiple choice questions first one water resources are dash distributed on the surface of the earth so just now we saw so you all know the answer isn't it options are evenly unevenly readily commonly so what is the answer very good Second one, in places where 
sufficient groundwater is available dash are dug options are wells tunnels mines dams so you all know the answer very good children so children i'll see you in the next class until then goodbye thank you